How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Black Bar Gaming and welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Now in this video we're going to be going over my striker PvP build. Um, this is the build I've used since I started playing back in Russia and this is the build I'm probably going to use when the season finally released for season 1 in PvP. Now like in my previous PvP videos I'm going to be highlighting each and every skill that you should use and try to give you a little bit of nuance of when to use them and how to use them. Also down in the description, I'm going to have a list of two content creators that I think are really good at what they do. They're some of the best striker players. So I'll have a link to Cannon's Twitch as well as Zessen's Twitch. These two are some of the better strikers I've seen. I've watched them play since I was playing in Russia and they have their own unique style and their own unique builds. But I think it's really important to give you guys this bit of resource just so you can have a, a second opinion from other players who made it a little bit more than I do. Now, with that said, guys, don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel. We're getting very close to our first thousand. And uh, yeah, let's dive on in to my striker PvP build. So the first ability on this list we're going to be using is called Lightning Whisper. We're going to kit Lightning Whisper out with Lightning Blessing. And this ability is going to function purely as an ability that gives your allies a attack speed buff. So you activate the ability right before going into the fight. And you can use this to give your team a bit of an edge as the fight start. You can use this also as a little bit of damage. I don't really care for it as damage. But the primary function of this ability is purely to give yourself and your team some attack speed. And it's a cheap 4 point investment. So the next ability we're going to go over is called Storm Dragon Awakening. And this is going to be another one of those unprotected abilities. But you're going to use this ability as a mobility ability. And then you're going to use it as a way to catch characters who are kind of just walking around, not really using their paralysis immune uh, efficiently. And you're going to kit this with excellent mobility, enhanced strike for a little bit more damage, and fallen flower gak. And this is going to just give more damage on the last hit of the ability. The purpose again is just you want to use it as mobility. You can gap close with it. You can use it to catch people off guard. Again, it's not protected. So just keep that in mind. You can be hit out of it. Just like the person you're hitting with it. Just like with anything when it comes to playing a striker. You got to be very careful on how you use your abilities. Because you can be punished really hard. Because you don't have as much protection as a lot of other classes. So the next ability we're going to be going with is called Lightning Kick. Now we're going to kick Lightning Kick out with Sharp Movement. Intense Shock and Flash Lightning. Now if you kit this with the way I kit it, Sharp Movement is going to give you that little bit of distance. Uh, it's going to make it easier for you to catch opponents or disengage. I can You can use it for either or. Uh, and with Intense Shock on it, it's going to do a little bit of damage over time if you land it on an enemy. Now with Flash Lightning, it's going to give you even more distance so that you can again disengage and engage more. And then it does give a little bit of extra damage so you maybe can finish a kill. The primary focus of Lightning Kick is an engager or disengager because it does have paralysis immunity on it. And for me, the mobility on this skill is just makes it such a high tier ability in my opinion. So the next ability we're going to be going over is Flash Moon Kick. And this is another one of your abilities with paralysis immunity on it. You're going to kit this one out with Intense Shock. And the purpose of Intense Shock is to give you the ability to change the direction of casting this ability. You're going to add excellent mobility because you need it as a gap closer and it actually reduces the cooldown by 3 seconds. And finally you're going to kit this one out with full moon kick. Now full moon kick is going to change it to a normal ability meaning you just press it once and it'll activate. But most importantly it gives it 250% damage. Now with your mobility and with the fact that this does a lot of damage this is going to be one of your best ways to secure kills. And it does quite a bit of damage so getting kills with this ability is actually fairly easy. Just a tip, I like to use this alongside Lightning Kick because Lightning Kick gives you a bit of mobility. You're going to jump in and then you can aim really well with the Flash Moon Kick and follow up really easy with it. So really good synergies with those two abilities and they're both Lightning so it looks really cool. Now the next ability we're going to be using is Sleeping Ascent Celebration and this is another ability that you can use as an engage or disengage and also keep in mind this ability has a knock up if you kit it the way I do it. Now we're going to put Spiral Kick on this because it's going to give it a bigger radius as well as speed so you can get the ability off quicker. We're going to get quick preparation on this because we want the cooldown as low as possible. It's pretty mobile. It has pretty okay damage and it is a knock up. So it's really good to have this on a lower cooldown. And when you kit this with Leaf Sweep, 
is going to change the ability to like an AOE breakdown ability. I don't know how to describe it, but you just do a, a whirlwind ability with your legs. And this is the effect that's actually going to knock enemies up. So again, I like to use this as a disengage or engage, and honestly it combos really well with a lot of your abilities because it knocks players up. So the next ability we're going to be using is called Swift Wind Kick, and this is going to be another one of your knockup abilities. And we're going to kit this one out with Water Round Kick. This is going to give reduced attack speed and move speed on opponents whenever you hit them with this. Uh, this is going to make it easier for you to set up other abilities basically. We're gonna put swift footwork on this so you can get the ability off a little faster because you are stuck in the animation and it can be a little dangerous and then we're gonna add furious spin axes and this is gonna be adding those four kick spin thing that you see now and that's gonna add the basically the knockup effect on this ability now i like to use swift wind kick in combination to other knockups because it keeps the knockup prolonged and you can just have your way with the player while they're in the knockup state so for the next ability on this build, we're going to be going with Phoenix Avert. And this is going to be your only tier 3 stun on this kit. And we're going to kit this one out with Wide Attack, Freeze Effect. And Freeze Effect is going to be the thing that gives you the tier 3 stun. And then Nimble Movement is going to give you more distance as well as speed so you can get the ability off quicker. And you can use this one as a decent engage tool. It will freeze foes for a total of one second. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to have a long freeze duration. But with Phoenix Averse Initiation, it's going to really set you up for a lot of other abilities. Or for example, if you have a blaster going against you, you have an ally who gets caught by his combo. You can stop his combo by simply just using this ability and freeze him for a second. Now, last but not least, we're going to be using Lightning Tiger Strike. Now, Lightning Tiger Strike is going to be your only ability that have push immunity on it, but you have to kit it the way I do to get that effect. And we're going to kit this one out with quick preparations to lower the cooldown. We're going to go with Tenacity so you can get that push immunity we talked about. And then we're going to go with Consecutive Kick. This is going to give you the ability to use it twice, and it's going to increase the base damage of the ability by 50% because it actually does a lot of damage, and with this, it gives a pretty good amount of damage overall. Now, I actually end up using this skill a lot for finishing opponents because you can chase really well with it, and it does pretty good damage. Also, keep in mind this ability also has a knockup effect on it as well. So you have actually quite a few knockups with this build. You have really good mobility. You're going to have to find your own rhythm when it comes to using this ability, but that's how I personally use it. All right, last but not least, we're going to be using our ultimate awakening skill, and it's going to be called True Heavenly Awakening. Now, this is the only ability that gives you all immunity, meaning you can't be stunned, you can't be staggered, nothing can happen to you while you activate this effect. And this ability is going to just do a double kick animation that does pretty good damage in a line in front of you. Now, when you're using this ability, it is very hard to land. I think this is one of the hardest landing ultimates in the game because you have to be very smart on how you use it. Firstly, my biggest tip to you is to make sure you're keeping a track of the person that you're fighting if he recently used his dodge roll. If he did, get him in a combo again, and as he's falling down, use this skill and finish him off with it. Overall, it's not the best ultimate in the game and the damage isn't the best, but you can get some really good plays off with this and you can finish opponents fairly easy if you line it up correctly. And there you have it. That is my striker PvP build. Now, the Striker is a class that I find to be very reliant on good positioning. It takes a lot to really get used to it, and you get punished really hard when you're a newer player playing the class. But once you master positioning, land your skills more efficiently, and just hit everything on all cylinders, you become a very effective character and a really good way of dealing with backliners. Now, with that said guys, don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next PvP Lost Ark video. Later.